Pelican 96, this is Brohammer. We are under fire from banished forces, requesting immediate assistance. Copy that, Brohammer. Reinforcements have arrived. <laughs> I think that did more, more bad than good there. Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. Today, we have got a full set of Halo Heroes Series 11, and I do think that this is one of the best Halo Heroes series. I give it a lot of credit for coming straight after Series 10, which was pretty much unbeatable. They came out with a really great range, and we're here today to open them all, celebrate them, and give one of them away. So let's switch up this camera angle and check these out one by one. Movie magic later, we've got all six lined up together. When you look at it, a pretty weighted UNSC forces for this one. Four UNSC figures, including the Master Chief, would definitely win in a fight against a banished hunter and the Arbiter. But hey, we're gonna open them one by one. Which one should we start with? I guess we're gonna start with the first figure I ever got from Halo Heroes Series 11. I picked this up when I was on holiday. Whoa, there it goes. I picked this up when I was on holiday last year in Minnesota. It's a fantastic Master Chief in overshield form. I have always been raving about half overshield figures. I think it's such a phenomenal idea. You know, overshield is a gradual thing when you click on your AC unit. It's a slow transition. So if someone was watching that in real life, it would probably be a slow blend of your green suit of armor to like fully white, fully translucent. So it's really great to see this half translucent, transparent Master Chief. It's got a very sort of lime green gummy, sort of cartoonish green. And it's not as simple as it seems. If you look at the details, there are some extra green green etchings all around his body. They've added some extra camo green. It's sort of like splodgy paint that runs all the way around, even on his crotch pieces and his legs, like it is everywhere. And it's sort of like a grizzly, muddy effect to the active camo. Maybe that's why he's not gone full active camo. He's too dirty. You're dirty, Master Chief. And he's got a nice bronze visor. They kept that clean. Then the whole thing is a black undersuit. Just plain black. It only needs to be plain black. Customizers have been experimenting with these kind of figures ever since they started doing chase figures in Mega Constructs form, and it's really cool to see Mega Constructs pick up on that as well. And he's got the iconic Halo 5 Guardians assault rifle, I think the best color scheme for any Master Chief weapon. It's epic, and I'm really happy that it comes in such an affordable figure. We'll talk about the base plates as well. They're not my favorite. Series 1 to 9 had these gorgeous base plates made up of four pieces. It added so much poseability, and they got rid of it in Series 10 because of these gold base plates. I thought it was a strategic decision at the time, and they did make these Series 10 figures look like a collectible item, but then I thought they would go back to the big base plate in Series 11, and they really didn't. They stepped it down to this one, which I don't mind, but then they also continued it in Series 12, and Series 12, in my opinion, is kind of worse. Maybe kind of better. I don't know if I like this black, gray, white kind of effect. It's okay. You get an okay for that one, guys. It's fine by me. Let's open the Master Chief's sworn enemy. I guess the Master Chief and this Arbiter never met. I, what was the timeline? I guess the Master Chief might have still been in training then? Yeah, maybe he was still just being indoctrinated at this point. I'm not sure exactly on the years, but this is the Arbiter, Repo Marami. This one gets the most credit. Oh no! I say the most credit and then I lose his shoulder. This one gets the most credit from me because in series 10 when the Arbiter was released, people liked the figure, but it was very basic and it had no colors running through the armor. It did feel a little dead weight. In the Repo Marami, they stepped it up in the next series and they put these lovely little sort of gold highlights running all the way through his silver armor. And it really adds depth to the figure. It makes his armor feel very royal. This very nice crackling light blue effect that runs through them, makes them feel very alive. This Arbiter is definitely my favorite Arbiter that they've made, and really cool that they're giving a nod to Halo Wars 1 after all these years. You know, Halo Wars 1 is what started Mega Bloks off on their journey, so it's cool that they've done an Arbiter. I bet the design team at Mega Bloks were really excited about that one. We'll get this next Spartan unpackaged. This is the Spartan Operator, and I've never actually got one of these out of the packet, so I'm very excited about this one. I know the yellow, I, I guess the bright 
bright yellow color is divisive across all of Mega Bloks. Like some people really just don't like that bright yellow no matter where it is on the Spartan's body. I don't mind it, it's kind of fun. I would never see this being practical in the Halo universe, but it's still pretty nice. It comes with this outrageously beautiful Spartan laser. I can see one, two, three, four, five, six different coats of paint on this. A tiny UNSC logo, 08 on the back. It's even got a yellow charging ring at the front. This is one of the most detailed weapons Mega Constructs has ever made. And it comes with uh, not the most detailed figure, but I like these silver pieces on his headlight. And I also enjoy this emblem on his shoulder. The shoulder is actually really nice. It's definitely 3D, like it's printed with a, a clear line that you can run your fingernail down. And it separates the two colors, which is actually really nice. So that's the Spartan Operator. It's uh, it's it's pretty great. Uh, I don't mind it. The one that I am excited about, again, a figure that I've never opened before, is the Spartan CQ. You see. This one comes with another incredible weapon, but also is one of my favorite color palettes. Look at that. Wow. That blue visor is sharp. That really stands out. The difference between light and brown armor works really well. And then the undersuit isn't just a plain black. It's actually like this really dark gray. We got some green camo on the backpack there. They've been doing a couple of these camo designs in Halo Infinite now. Like with the Spartan Recon here, you can see that it's almost, I think, it's the exact same chest, yep. But I mean, if it works, why would you, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know? He comes with this concussion rifle that, ah, ah, that's Halo Reach, baby. Mega Constructs have definitely been on the Halo Reach train. Cough, cough, this Spartan Recon. And they're just having a great time with it. This is a beautiful CQC. Again, with a, a pretty basic base plate. But these two go together as a nice little team. I'm not mad about those at all. This ODST Lang, I am very familiar with. I've seen this guy so many times. I've unpackaged him quite a few times. I've given him away a few times. I've just been able to get hold of quite a few of these. I had a wonderful time playing Fireteam Raven when I was also in Minnesota back in November. Ah, it was such a great time. It's really just so wonderful to see Halo go into arcade units after all these years. And also to see one of those characters realized in Mega Constructs form. It doesn't come with a backpack, but she's still really cool. I don't really have any attachment to the uh, characters from that game, but I've watched all the cutscenes. It is a lot of fun, and she's definitely going on my shelf. Pride of place. We've got one more figure today, and I saved probably the best to last. This absolute titan of a set. But I am a little nervous about this one. If you watched my nine hour live stream the other day, sorry, nine and a half hour live stream, I built the Pelican inbound over nine and a half hours. And actually the most difficult part of the build was this hunter. Pushing these rods in breaks apart your thumbs. Like I still have sore thumbs two days later. So I don't know if this is gonna wreck my fingers again. We'll see. I am just in awe of these hunter designs and I don't know, these two will make a pretty great pair. It is a shame that the Pelican Inbound didn't come with two of these, but I have got two of these hunters secured so they can go in a nice fire team. Well, actually, I need a fourth one now. Hunters hunt in pairs, as you know, so I guess I kind of need a fourth hunter now. But uh, I'm in no rush. Maybe these two can hunt together. They look like they look like a pretty good team. All right, let's pop all of these pieces on. That'll do for now. I'll make sure they are firmly put in later. Gorgeous. I loved what they did with Hunters in Halo Wars 2. I thought it was fantastic lore additions. And this one is no exception to being fantastic. It's got really nice silver etching there. Really makes it look like it's battle damage. Then some other colors running down here. We've got a couple of different reds. And then this dark crimson on his head and his spines, his stomach, a bit of his legs, his knee pads. There's a lot of interesting colors, including this light brown flesh. So it's really just a fantastic figure. I am in awe of it. I mean, just, just such a a step up from the original Hunters. I mean, are you kidding me? They're so different. Oh, look at those spines already falling out. All right, so we're gonna clean this desk up. Let's check all the figures out one more time. Ladies and gentlemen, Halo Heroes Series 11. Really just a quality series. If we talk about the challenge of coming after Halo Heroes Series 10, they had some really tough boots to fill, but I think Mega Constructs stepped up. They included three very iconic named characters. I mean, two hugely iconic named characters. And they also gave a big spin on Master Chief. Like it's not just another Master Chief. It's got a really cool take. And then these two Spartans, they hold up on their own. I know some 
people are not a fan of the yellow, but I think it really works. And they come with some really cool weapons with gorgeous detailing. I've never seen more detailing than on that Spartan laser. Then we've got a Remnant Hunter, which is a huge figure to include, and Lang ODST. For anyone that's played the arcade game, that's a really cool little Easter egg. All right, thanks everybody for tuning in today. This was another video with The Domain. You stay awesome out there. Happy holidays. And if you would like to win this Lang ODST, all you need to do is comment down below saying happy holidays. And I'll draw one, send it to you free of charge. Have a great day, everybody. And the Remnant Hunter is signing off. Rawr, rawr, rawr.